Why do I look so pale? I have one soft box in front of me and I don't, I'm not sure that it is that powerful to make me look like a freaking ghost. What is going on? Hi, it's me. Gladiator. Yes, I know Russell Crowe is in this and it takes place in Rome, I think. Yes, of course, right? And I don't know, there's there's probably some epic fighting. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's watch it right now. Let's roll it. My back already hurts. All right. Ooh, too sexy. Gladiator. The height of its power the Roman Empire was stretching from the desert of Africa to the borders of northern England. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, one final stronghold. Are they going to be able to achieve it? We'll see. Okay. This is giving me a little ASMR, not gonna lie. Oh, there he is. Germania. What is this today? Is it Germany? Is that like a really stupid question? Okay, he's a general. Did they just win? Still nothing. Not a sign. How long has he been gone? Nearly two hours. Mm. Will they fight, sir? Oh, we are walking into battle. They say no. <gasps> oh my god! It's a headless corp corpse. <laughs> People should know when they're conquered. <gasps> Was that like the messenger? What do you, Quintus? What I? Yeah, they want to fight till the end. Uh, can't blame them. Please don't involve animals in this. Well, the horses are kind of f***ed, but you know, there's no reason to bring even more animals into this. At my signal. Unleash hell. Dang. These guys have no chance. Three weeks from now, I will be harvesting my crops. Imagine where you will be, and it will be so. Mm. Are we gonna get to do that? If you find yourself alone, riding in green fields with the sun on your face, do not be troubled, for you are in Elysium, and you're already dead! <laughs> I do know what Elysium is. This battle is going to last like two minutes. Ooh. Wow. Actual fireballs. I'm not sure these guys knew what they were getting into. They knew what they were getting into. Wow, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Is it snowing? They don't need this. That is epic. I mean, figuratively and literally, you know. Are they winning? I mean, of, co of course they are, right? I um, watched a YouTube video once where an expert said that these battles were a little more organized than what the movies portray. Like, it wasn't that they were just like killing people left and right, but they kind of, um, they got turns or something. I'm not sure if I'm just like straight out bull you, but uh, that's what I remember that the expert said. And it makes more sense, you know? Who is this? Do you think he's really dying? He's been dying for 10 years. Who? If you weren't really dying, you wouldn't have sent for us. And the senators. 
You wouldn't have summoned them. Please, Joaquin Phoenix. Two weeks on the road, your incessant scheming is hurting my head. He's made his decision. He's going to announce it. He will name me king. The first thing I shall do. I mean, emperor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is honor him with gangs worthy of his majesty. The first thing I shall do is have a hot bath. Why? I thought they were sister and brother. Why does it feel like they are kind of flirting with each other? To be almost there, sir. Although, you know, for the times, that stuff shouldn't surprise me. Yes. Okay, so that was his wife, right? Please, please tell me that was his wife. So they won and now they get to go home with their families and live happily ever after. So this is the Emperor. You approved your valor yet again, Maximus. Maximus. Let us hope for the last time. There's no one left to fight, sir. There is always someone left to fight. Yes. How can I reward Rome's greatest general? Let me go home. <sighs> home. Can he go home? They honor you, Caesar. It's for you, Maximus. They honor you. Well, from the beginning, I noticed that people respected and uh, loved him. Have I missed it? Have I missed the battle? You have missed the war. <laughs> General. Highness. Rome salutes you, and I embrace you as a brother. It has been too long, my old friend. Highness. Here, father. Take my arm. I think it is time for me to leave. He doesn't look sick. Caesar, that is. Ah. Well. <laughs> on a second thud. So much for the glory of Rome. Hmm. Do I detect a little bit of jealousy here? Huh. Interesting. That is interesting. I'm interested. Let us talk together now. What does he want? Because it feels like he's going to ask something from Maximus. 5,000 of my men are out there in the freezing mud. 3,000 of them are bloodied and cleaved. 2,000 will never leave this place. I will not believe that they fought and died for nothing. And what would you believe? They Maximus? fought for you and for Rome. Uh -huh. Maximus? I've seen much of the rest of the world. It is brutal and cruel and dark. Rome is the light. Yet you have never been there. You have not seen what it has become. There was once a dream that was Rome. You could only whisper it. Anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish. Mm -hmm. It was so fragile. And I fear that it will not survive the winter. What is going on in Rome? Maybe I should know. Maybe I should know this part of history, but uh, I don't. Tell me about your home. I mean, I gather that the senators want Rome to be a republic again. And of course, the the emperor and his family don't want that. My house is in the hills above Tehillo. Pink stones that warm in the sun. Kitchen garden that smells of herbs in the day. Jasmine in the evening. Grapes on the south, slopes, olives on the north. Wild ponies playing in my house. They teach my son he wants to be one of them. When was the last time you were home? Two years, 264 days, and this morning. I envy you, Maximus. It was a good home. There is one more duty that I ask of you before you go home. Mm -hmm. I knew he was going to ask something. I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. Oh, come on. I will empower you to one end alone. To give power back to the people of Rome. Oh. Oh, is that so? The corruption that has crippled it. To the people, as in the. Do you accept this great honor that I have offered you? Mm. With all my heart, no. That is why it must be you. But surely a prefect, a senator, somebody who knows the city, who understands her politics. But you have not been corrupted by her politics. Because he's not a politician. Oh my God, he was like, I have to ask you a little tiny thing. Can you save the country? That's it. That's all you have to do. You're the son that I should have had. Ooh. I need some time, sire. Yeah. By sunset, I hope you will have agreed. What if he doesn't? Now embrace me as my son. He f him up with this. What is he gonna do? What is he supposed to do? My father favors you now. It was not always so. Many things change. You seem upset. I lost many men. He has reasons to be upset. 
What did my father want with you? To wish me well before I leave for home. You could always tell when you were lying because you were never any good at it. I never acquired your comfort with it. True. <laughs> Life is more simple for a soldier. Is it? Or do you think me heartless? I think you have a talent for survival. This woman, she needs to calm down a, li a little bit. So, Miss Dahl, <laughs> is it really so terrible seeing me again? Do these two have history or...? Do you know, I still remember you in my prayers. Oh yes, I pray. What happened between these two? I thank you for your prayers. He's not a politician, but he's very diplomatic. Ancestors, I ask your guidance. Blessed Father, watch over my wife and son with a ready sword. I hope they are alive. Ancestors, I honor you. I will try to live with the dignity you have taught me. I hope they are alive. Oh. Cicero, you will find it hard to do your duty. Sometimes I do what I want to do. The rest of the time, I do what I have to. Mm -hmm. Good answer. We may not be able to go home after all. Are you ready to do your duty for Rome? Yes, father. You will not be emperor. Which wise old man is to take my place? My paths will pass to Maximus. Oh, okay. I didn't understand. Rome is to be a republic again. I didn't get that he was going to pass his power onto him. Dude, if he hated him before. <laughs> my decision disappoints you? I search the faces of the gods. Always to please you, to make you proud. He's good. Joaquin is good. Let me just say it out loud. What is this enemy you hate so much? Yeah, I want to know too. All I've ever wanted was to live up to you. Your false as a son is my failure as a father. That's not reassuring. Is he going to kill him? <laughs> oh, he's gonna, he's going to kill this old man. He's going to push him to the other side. I would put to the whole world <laughs> if you would only love me. <laughs> See? Of course. Wow. His own father. Before the killing, I was going to say that I kind of understand Commodus because... The men with me, brother. Not being good enough for your own father must be very painful, you know? I think any, any child would feel the same way, but... I mean, of course it doesn't justify the killing. How did he die? His breath gave out as he slept. Your emperor asked for your loyalty, Maximus. He didn't even write a document that says that he wanted to pass his power to Maximus. Wow. <laughs> Maximus, please be careful that was not prudent. Prudent? The emperor has been slain. The emperor died of natural causes. So they... Why are you armed, Quintus? No, it was him. Please don't fight, Maximus. He's being imprisoned. Right until dawn. And then execute him. What? Why? Promise me that you will look after my family. Your family will meet you in the afterlife. What the f***? That is exactly the worst thing to say. Blessed Father, watch over my wife and son. Just the two that I live only to hold them again. I mean, he's obviously not going to die right now, but what's how how is he gonna survive this? He just took it. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> the frost. Sometimes it makes the blade stick. Wow. <laughs> Oh, he got hurt. <gasps> he needs to go see if his wife and kid are alright. 
Why did he take two horses? Is this his house? Oh, they have guardians. At least they have protection. Oh no, little kid. Please. Also, is that the little kid from... Oh, the kid from um, La Vida Svella. They burnt the house. F the guardians. F oh, wow. This is the way they just run over that little kid. What did they do to the wife, though? Oh my god, wow, this is the worst, the worst, the worst nightmare ever imaginable. The kid was going to turn eight. <gasps> they burned them. Oh my god. I knew something tragic was going to happen, but this, wow, this, this is... I didn't I didn't expect this. <laughs> Who are these people? Oh, please don't tell me things are going to get worse. Can they get worse though? Oh my god, his arm has a gap. <gasps> oh, it's infected. I don't think he's getting rescued because he was put in a cage, so that already, you know, kind of a red flag. Are we going east? East? Yes. America. Europa. What is that? Oh, he, 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 he. Better now. Filled it up like a turkey. Mark of the Legion. Deserter. Maybe so, but who cares? I'll take six for one thousand. The Numidian alone is worth two thousand. These slaves are rotten. It all adds to the flavor. No, 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 wait, wait, wait! I can negotiate. So he was captured by a slave trader. Great. I am Proximo. I shall be closer to you for the next few days, which will be the last of your miserable lives. I did not pay wow. money for you for your company. I paid it so that I could profit from your death. What is this guy? Like, what, what is his activity? And when you die, and die you shall, your transition shall be to the sound of... Of? Gladiators. Oh. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Okay, so he became a gladiator after the death of his family. Okay. So now they're going, they're, they're going to fight. The gods favor you. Red is the gods' color. Do we need their help today? Thanks, guy. Dude, the fact that in this time period, people gather to see other people fight to death. Wow, he's being... Yeah, of course, of course. This is insane. Wow, wow. <gasps> oh, they are tied together. Well, chained together. are not being forced to participate in this, why would you? Something woke up inside him and now he's fighting. Ah. They make a great team. Yes. But 
I do wonder what made him fight, because nothing changed. The desire of revenge. Is that it? Who would they to lecture me? Commodus, the Senate has its uses. All they do is talk. It should be just you and me in Rome. Don't even think it. There's always been a Senate. It takes an emperor to rule an empire. Of course, but leave the people there. Illusions. Traditions. My father's war against the barbarians. He said it himself, it achieved nothing. But the people loved it. The people always love victories. Why? They didn't see the battles. They care about the greatness of Rome. Yeah, good point. Well, what is that? It's an idea. Greatness. Prosperity. Greatness is a vision. And security. I will give the people a vision of Rome and they'll love me for it. And they'll soon forget the tedious sermonizing of a few dry old men. He is so in love with his sister. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm gonna sound so depraved if I'm wrong, but it looks like he's in love with his sister. I do wonder if the Senate isn't planning something, you know, behind closed doors against him. Games. 150 days of games. It's cleverer than I thought. Clever. You really think the people are going to be seduced by that? Yes, of course. Guaranteed. Conjure magic for them and they'll be distracted. You take away their freedom and still their war. You bring them death and they will love him for it. I don't disagree. <laughs> oh! He pulled them. Oh my God! I I would I would pay to see something like that. <laughs> Let me be honest, but I would be traumatized. Yeah, at the end of the day. Is this not why you are here? <laughs> yeah, it is frustrating, and it sucks that we as humans are entertained by this stuff. You sent for me. Yes, I did. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. So finally, after five years of scratching a living in flea-infested villages, we're finally going back to where we belong, the Colosseum. The big leagues. Oh, you should see the Colosseum, Spaniard. 50,000 Romans watching every movement of your sword, the silence before you strike, and the noise afterwards. Rises up like, like, like a storm. You were a gladiator. Yes, I was. Ah, I was thinking about that because of the way he described it. You won your freedom. A long time ago, the emperor presented me with a rudius. It's just a, a wooden sword. Uh -huh. A symbol of your freedom. Wow. He touched <gasps> me on the shoulder and I was free. Wow. <laughs> You knew Marcus Aurelius. I did not say I knew him. I said he touched me on the shoulder once. Yeah, it's complete, two completely, di completely, completely different things. I too want to stand in front of the emperor. Then listen to me. Learn from me. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. He put up a show. I was the best because the crowd loved me. Win the crowd and you'll win your freedom. Can we, can we trust? Can we trust? I will give them something they've never seen before. So, Spaniard, we shall go to Rome together and have bloody adventures. And the great whore will suckle us until we are fat and happy and can suckle no more. And then, when enough men have died, perhaps you will have your freedom. How do we know he's going to let him go? He's probably making so much money off of him. It's somewhere out there. My country. Oh. My home. My wife is preparing food. I'm glad to see that he's still I alive. Carry water from the river. Will I ever see them again? I think no. Do you believe you'll see them again when you die? I think so. But then I will die soon. Mm. They will not die for many years. I'll have to wait. But oh, you will. Wow. Mm, that's heartbreaking. You see, my wife and my son are already waiting for me. You'll meet them again, but not yet. Yes. Not yet. I think he knows he is going to meet them right after taking revenge. Oh, 
We are arriving in Rome. Oh, wow. <laughs> It looks beautiful. Having servants who are deaf and mute at least ensures I live a little longer. They're arresting scholars now. Anyone who dares speak out. Oh, it's just going behind her brother's back. He spends all his days singularly obsessed planning the festival to honor your father. And what pays for it? These daily games are costing a fortune. Yeah. Yet we have no new taxes. The future pays for it. He started selling the grain reserves. Oh. This can't be true. Is he allowed to do that? Not that he would care, but can he do that? I hope they're enjoying the games because soon enough they'll be dead because of them. Rome must know this. And how? Will you make a speech on the floor of the Senate denouncing my brother? And then see your family in the Colosseum? Who oh dare? So I take it she can see the insanity of her brother and she is not supporting it. He must die. Wow. Until we can neutralize the Praetorians, we can achieve nothing. So we do nothing. They need to do something. We prepare. As long as the people support him, we are voices without steel. But with every day that passes, he makes enemies. One day, he'll have more enemies than friends. And on that day... And that's... when is that gonna happen? But until then, we are docile. And we are treacherous. Is there something he isn't telling us? I love this. I, I don't know how accurate it is, but I love this representation of Rome. Roma. Oh, why don't you go down to the prison and round up all the beggars and thieves? We've done that. If you want to give away the best gladiators in the whole of the empire, then I want double the rates. You'll get your contract rate, so you'll get your contract cancelled. You don't like it? And you can crawl back down that. The eyebrows are wild. I was <laughs> gonna <laughs> poke someone's eye out with those. Also, he's wearing the helmet and he can't be recognized. Your emperor is pleased to give you the barbarian horde. Anyone here been in the army? I served with you at Vindavana. <gasps> you can help me. Wow. Whatever comes out of these gates. Some of them know who he is. We've got a better chance of survival if we work together. Do you understand? Makes sense. Yes. Did I see boobs in an armor? Old Diamond! Diamond! Oh wow. Huh. They definitely weren't counting with uh, having a, a general in the in the arena. What a show! My history is a little hazy, Cassius. But shouldn't the barbarians lose the Battle of Carthage? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Forgive me, sir. No, I rather enjoy surprises. Who is he? They call him the Spaniard, sire. I think I'll meet him. Ah! Yes, sir. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be good. It's not like he can say no, so they are going to meet. Drop your weapons! Is there a second act? The Emperor has asked for you. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, he's gonna ask him to remove his mask. Mask, helmet, thing. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. No, don't do it. Well, do it. Yeah, do it. Rise. Oh, the kid. The kid ruined it. Your fame is well deserved, Spaniard. I don't think there's ever been a gladiator to match you. As for this young man, he insists you are Hector Reborn. Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? See? <laughs> reveal yourself. 
reveal yourself. My name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me? Yeah, he's not allowed to do that. Will you remove your helmet and tell me your name? <gasps> My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Oh! Of the of the North. Wait, is he dreaming this? Is this really happening? Loyal servant to the true Emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. Yes. And I will have my vengeance, this life or the next. Wait, he's gonna have them executed. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. Um! What do they say? Are they saying free? <laughs> I'm happy for him, but I don't know how safe he is. Why is he still alive? He shouldn't be alive. That vexes me. He believes someone betrayed him. What did you feel when you saw him? I felt nothing. He wounded you deeply, didn't he? How? No more than I wounded him. Oh, were they ac actually involved with each other? They told me he was dead. If they lie to me, they don't respect me. If they don't respect me, how can they ever love me? Then you must let the legions know that treachery will not go unpunished. Ah, uh, girl, this isn't helping. What will you do? <gasps> this way. Rich matrons pay well to be pleasured by the bravest champ. Oh, she shouldn't be here. I knew your brother would send assassins. I didn't realize he would send his best. <gasps> huh? Maximus, he doesn't know. My family was burnt and crucified while she they were still alive. I knew nothing. Don't lie to me! I wept for them. I wept for your father. I have been living in a prison of fear since that day. To be unable to mourn your father for fear of your brother. To live in terror. Every moment of every day because your son is heir to the throne. My son was innocent. So is mine. Okay. Must my son die too before you'll trust me? What does it matter Why? if I trust you or not? Yeah, exactly. The gods have spared you. Today I saw a slave become more powerful than the Emperor of Rome. The gods have spared me. I am at their mercy. With the power only to amuse a mob. That is power. Listen to me. What does she want? My brother has enemies, most of all in the Senate. Uh -huh. But while the people follow him, no one would dare stand up to him until you. Uh huh. There are some politicians who have dedicated their lives to Rome. One man above all. If I can arrange it, will you meet him? What for? What possible difference can I make? This man wants what you want. Then have him kill Commodus! Oh, that's what she wants. I mean, listen. It's very easy for her to barge in and ask him to kill the emperor. Let me help you. You know what I wonder? I want to say it. I want to get it out of my chest because it's been bothering me for a while. So these two were obviously romantically involved, right? So he was cheating on his wife? I do wonder. General! Can he even trust the food? Yeah. I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's nice to see that they have some resemblance of humor. Also, is it beans? You have a great name. You must kill your name before he kills you. 
I'm not sure what that means. Returning to the Coliseum today after five years in retirement, the only undefeated champion in Roman history, the legendary Titus of Gaul. He knows too well how to manipulate the mob. Marcus Aurelius had a dream that was Rome, Proximo. This is not it. Marcus Aurelius is dead, Maximus. We mortals are but shadows and dust. Shadows and dust. Shadows and dust, Maximus! Great um, motivational speech. They embrace him like he's one of their own. The mob is fickle, brother. He'll be forgotten in a month. Hmm. Much sooner than that. It's been arranged. I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. Oh no. Don't tell me he has to fight like 20 more people. serious huh. <laughs> is it weird that I want to kiss the tigers a third one oh my god <gasps> <gasps> What? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> are you kidding me? Am I am I really seeing this or are my eyes lying to me? Like he's fighting like five tigers and this huge guy are they going to let him win though? Because at any given time they could like release a, I don't know, Godzilla. That poor tiger. Huh. So he's defy def, def, fi, defining him huh they are booing him <laughs> what am i going to do with you you simply won't die are we so different you and i you take life when you have to as i do i have only one more life to take and it is done take it now wow they tell me your son squealed like a girl. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth. And your wife moaned like a whore when they ravaged her. Again and again. Oh my god, what son of a b dude. This guy's like the absolute worst. Your life for honoring yourself will soon be at an end. I am shocked at his self-restraint. That would have been more than enough for me, you know. Oh, there he is, his friend. He, he can't see him. <gasps> Maybe he, he has valuable information. Tell the men their general lives. Find me! Yes! What is it? What is it? Oh. That's a good friend. Can they hear you? Who? Your family. In the afterlife. Oh, yes. What do you say to them? To my boy. 
I tell him I will see him again soon, to keep his heels down when he's riding his horse. To my wife, that is not your business. <laughs> I can tell and I can understand how much these little figures mean for him. Senator Gracchus? Hmm. General, I hope my coming here today is evidence enough that you can trust me. You can buy my freedom and smuggle me out of Rome. To what end? Get me outside the city walls. Have fresh horses ready to take me to Ostia. My army is in camp there. By nightfall of the second day, I shall return at the head of 5,000 men. But the legions all have new commanders, loyal to Commodus. Let my men see me alive, and you shall see where their loyalty is lie. This is madness. How is it madness? This is the best approach. I will not trade one dictatorship for another. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that too. And after your glorious coup, what then? You'll take your 5,000 warriors and leave? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. Once all of Rome is yours, you'll just give it back to the people. Tell me why. Because that was the last wish of a dying man. I will kill Commodus. The fate of Rome. I live to you. Marcus Aurelius trusted you. His daughter trusts you. I will trust you. Give me two days, and I will buy your freedom. You stay alive, or I'll be dead. <laughs> Where have you been? That's beautiful. Beautiful set. Please, brother. What's troubling you? Does Gracchus have a new lover? Um, I think... I feel that the kid is already dead. He infects everyone like a putrid fever. For the health of the Rome, the Senate must be bled. And he will bleed too. Very soon. But not tonight. Do you remember what our father said once? Once? A frightful dream. Life is. Oh, something's going on right now as we speak. Something horrible. I think it is. And I have only you to share it with. That little kid is hanging somewhere right now. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> oh my god, and she has to do it. I'm out. Should I be right to assume that he doesn't have a, a wife because he's in love with his sister? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> no. You know I love you. And I love you. Get out. Move! Congratulations, General. Uh huh? You got very persuasive friends. I don't trust this. Oh, they came. Black is arrested. We don't wait any longer. Oh no, I don't like that. The first thing she did was to come here. Roxanne will come at midnight and take you to the gate. Your servant Cicero will be waiting there with horses. None of that is going to happen. You risk too much. I have much to pay for. Her life and her son's. You love your son. You're strong for him. I am tired of being strong. Huh. My that's it's all the world. Great line. And you most of all. Because my father loved you. And because I loved you. A long time ago. Maybe they they had a relationship before he met his wife. And if that's the case, then I I I, I take my words back. Oh, you mean to tell me the kid is still alive? Not for long. Isn't it late to be playing legionnaire? I'm not a legionnaire. Don't. I'm a gladiator. Gladiators only fight in the games. He's dead. Would you rather be a great Roman warrior like Julius Caesar? I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome. That poor kid. And who said that? Oh no. What did he say? What did he say? Sister, join us. I've been reading today, Lucius. I've been reading too. He's a very clever little boy. You make a grand emperor one day. If you're very good, tomorrow night I'll tell you the story of Emperor Claudius. He was betrayed by those closest to him. They whispered in dark corners. 
and went out late at night and conspired. But the Emperor Claudius knew that they were up to something. He knew they were busy little bees. Tell me what you've been doing, busy little bee, or I shall strike down those dearest to you. <gasps> you shall watch as I bathe in their blood. <gasps> no. And the Emperor was heartbroken. The little bee had wounded him more deeply than anyone else could ever have done. And what do you think happened then, Lucius? I don't know, Uncle. The little bee told him everything. Yeah, he's gonna kill them both. Also, uh, Lucille told him everything, I assume. Everything is prepared. It seems you have won your freedom. Proxima, are you in danger of becoming a good man? I only need moments, so do not be careless with your lives. If you don't want any part of this, go back to your cells. We wait here for you, Maximus. Strength and honor. Go! Strength and honor. How many slaves are there? <laughs> or are they... Oh, they're, they're just distracting them, okay. They're coming for him, and they're going to kill him. That is not. <gasps> ah. Oh. Oh no. The big guy. Where is Cicero? Oh, there he is. <gasps> Oh no! Oh my god! Double kill! I'm sorry, but how is this good? This is... This is already f It's It's all f They failed. So... It's gonna happen now. It's done. What is done? I don't... He's not dead. Lucius will stay with me now. People are going to hate him for this. And if his mother so much as looks at him, in a manner that displeases me, you will die. She decides. <gasps> They're listening to this. And takes her own life. You will die. Oh my god. She can't even kill herself. You will love me as I loved you. You will provide me with an heir of pure blood. Oh my god, no. Commodus. No. And his progeny will rule for a thousand years. Why not merciful? It's a prison without walls. Wow, this is so horrible. She has to stay alive to live uh, in torture, perpetual torture. They call for you, the general who became a slave, the slave who became a gladiator, the gladiator who defied an emperor. Now that people want to know how the story ends, only a famous death will do. Yeah, this is probably just content for people. You would fight me. Do you think I'm afraid? This is a little out of character because I didn't think he would be brave enough to do something like this. Are you a man who once said death smiles at us all? All a man can do is smile back. I wonder, did your friend smile at his own death? You must know, he was your father. Ha! Huh. You loved my father, I know. But so did I. That makes us brothers, doesn't it? Smile for me now, brother. <gasps> this is the only way he would fight him. Strap on his armor. Conceal the wound. And this kid being still alive is like the biggest surprise for me in this movie. This character... We need to study him. He is pure evil. Such a good combo of evilness and sickness, you know. <gasps> yes! Ooh. Ooh. 
love to see it. Quintus, sword! Give me your sword! Sword, give me your sword! Sheed your sword! Sheed your sword! <gasps> Look at that! Oh, oh no, he, he, he's going. No, wake up! Come back! I love how the guards just stand there. Stab him in the neck. Yes! Did he? Oh! But he doesn't look okay. And people are silent? Are they angry at this or happy or... Oh, he's dying. He's finally arriving home, but in heaven. Quintus, free my men. Senator Gracchus is to be reinstated. There was a dream that was Rome. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Free the prisoners! Go! The fact that he thought of his friends... <clears throat> Sorry. <gasps> Max wishes is safe. And that is shocking for me. To them. Oh, he achieved his purpose. Is Rome worth one good man's life? We believed it once. Make us believe it again. As a soldier of Rome, honor him. Who will help me carry him? The little kid. They left Commodus there. I'm so happy that he's still alive. You can go back home. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet. <laughs> He's gonna see his family again. Oh, Ridley Scott directed this? No wonder. I'm not surprised. That was a good movie. And the characters really took the story to the next level. And I admire Maximus' integrity. Wow. And of course that he fought till the end for his family, for his family's honor. And now he gets to be reunited with them. But I do have to say, as much as I like uh, Maximus, I think Joaquin Phoenix stole the show here. His performance was amazing. He made you hate him. I am really impressed by Kamada's evilness and I think this is gonna be one of the most memorable villains in cinema history for me you know I'm gonna think about this guy <laughs> wow this is quality this is quality okay that's it bye